Yeah, I, I would say gold and silver are like a hard money, right? And they're liquid. If things hit the fan, you can always exchange, especially silver, be, you know, for anything, I would say. Some people will argue that people won't. But, uh, you know, if you have old, uh, you know, half crowns like I have, you know, they are silver. Or even like in Australia, if you have uh, uh, florins, like silver florins, they could come in handy. But in terms of other assets, yes, anything that has value uh, and, uh, yeah, is not currency, that will be... Uh, yeah, we'll always have some value, and, and uh, but might not be as liquid. For example, uh, an, a piece of uh, antique or a rare book or a fine watch, you might not be able to sell it when there's a huge crisis because people don't have uh, any currency. But uh, on the other side, they will still hold it, hold their value. The thing about gold and silver is that uh, they're liquid. You can always uh, exchange them. The other thing I would say is uh, if we do, and I think there's a good chance, of course, go through a, a crisis like a currency collapse, is to uh, be in a tight knit community, be it like where you live or even like here, you know, you know online and be able to help each other. That's another thing. So it's good to have friends, I think, as well, not just uh, gold and silver and hard assets.